Historically, the traditional procurement approach used by clients were construct-only models. The client would engage an architect or engineering consultancy to complete an issue for construction drawing set. The client then went out to market with the IFC drawings to select a contractor. Potential contractors would quote for this set of drawings. A contractor would be selected, typically based on the lowest price, and then works would begin. Any changes to the design would be a variation. The big failure of construct-only models is that the contractor's specialist skill and knowledge in how to build things is never integrated into the design. Constructability issues in the design were not being picked up till works were being undertaken in the field. Consequently, there has been a shift towards design and construct procurement models, where the contractor is responsible for taking the detailed design through to IFC. The rationale behind this is that the contractor is best placed to manage the design and design risks. Any cost savings or construction methodology improvements can be implemented into the design at an early stage. The contractor will then not be able to claim variations when the design changes. The problem with DNC contracts is that they result in massive amounts of risks being passed on to the contractor. The contractor is responsible for delivering the entire scope of works and often must take on significant risks. Risks that are often outside of their control, including contaminated soil, in-ground services and existing infrastructure conditions. These contracts are procured competitively and often clients go with the lowest cost option. Unfortunately, this means the contractor, who has the lowest profit margin and risk contingency and likely underquoted the job, ends up being successful. The successful contractor can often end up losing money. In 2020, two of Australia's la largest construction companies, John Holland and Simic, reported $60 million and $1 billion losses respectively. They cited underquoting jobs and clients transferring unmanageable risks as the reasons. The only avenues contractors have to recover costs and try to break even is to charge variations and expensive change orders for everything. For any minor change requests by the client, the contractor will charge ridiculous amounts. This delivery model does not often lead to positive outcomes for either contractors or clients. As a result, there has been a push towards collaborative contracting models and a smarter approach to risk management. The industry is shifting towards more alliance type contract models and more reasonable risk allocations. As the industry advances and becomes more sophisticated, we'll see even smarter contracting models evolve, leading to overall better project outcomes for the client, contractors and all stakeholders.